Right, so, number seven. How old is your professor? Part A, give the mean and standard deviation for the distribution of the sample mean age based on the random sample of 100 full professors. Include the units. So the first thing I'd like to do is circle all the numbers of interest that the problem gives you. So that'll be 48 years. It's the mean age for the population. Standard deviation for that is five years. And the random sample is 100. So n equals 100. So for this question, you need to recognize that the central limit theorem is what they're really asking for. So central lim limit theorem goes something like this. X bar follows a normal distribution with mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma over square root of n. So for the mean, that's just 48. So I write 48 years. And the standard deviation is just going to be your sigma over the square root of n. So sigma in the situation is just 5. And n will be 100. So you just take the square root of 100. And this evaluates to 0.5 years. So your final answer will just be 48 years for the mean and 0.5 years for the standard deviation. So moving on to part b. Get rid of this thing first. All right, so part B. What's the approximate probability that the sample mean age will differ from the true population mean age by more than one year? So show your work. So for this question, it's helpful to just kind of draw out a normal distribution. So your mean is in the middle here. And they ask what the probability is that the sample mean age will differ from the true population mean age by more than one year. So mu is your true population one age. And if we take the standard deviation that we found in the previous question, more than one year would be more than two standard deviations. Because the standard devi deviation is 0.5, so two standard deviations would just be one year. So we can draw it out like here. So this is two standard deviations to the left of the mean, and this is two standard deviations to the right of the mean. And essentially, we're just trying to find the probability in these shaded areas. So if we recall the empirical rule, we know that this shaded area, all of this, this probability is just going to be 95%. So we can just take 95%, subtract that from 1, which is the total probability over the entire curve, and our answer will just be 0 0.05, 0 0.05. So that'll be our answer to this question, 3b. So lastly, 3c, what is the name of the result that allows you to answer part b, even though you were not told whether the population of ages followed a normal distribution. Well, that's just a central limit theorem. And that's just kind of something you had to recognize. Central limit theorem. All right, so let's move on to question eight. How big is your turkey? A 95% confidence interval for the average weight of a Thanksgiving turkey is given by 8.7 and 21.3 based on a random sample of 50 households. So what is an estimate of the population average weight of a Thanksgiving turkey? Provide the symbol, value, and the units. So you're given a confidence interval. It goes from 8.7 to 21.3. And they want to, they want to ask for, the popula for the, an estimate of the population average weight. That's pretty simple. You just take the midpoint of the confidence interval because confidence intervals are constructed by taking the mean and adding or, adding or subtracting z star times the standard error. So if we find the midpoint of this interval, that will be our that will be an estimate for the population average weight. So all we need to do is just do 8.7 plus 21.3 divided by 2, which is how you find the midpoint. And your answer will just be 15. 
So the question also asks you to provide the symbol. So an estimate of the population average would just be your sample mean or sample average. And that symbol is simply x bar, 15. And lastly, you have to provide the units, which is just pounds. So moving on to the next question, 8b. In order to make the confidence interval of 8.7, 21.3, certain conditions have to be met. One condition is that the household sample should be a random sample of all households, and that condition is satisfied in this question. Clearly state the additional condition that is needed. So this is just something you have to know. You, know, you need to be aware of all the conditions that need to be satisfied in order to do all this inference. And the random condition has already been specified. The additional condition would just be normality. The population of all the turquoise needs to follow a normal distribution. So we just need normality of the population of turkey weights. And lastly, um, 8C, a turkey company is planning their production levels, assuming the average weight of Thanksgiving turkeys will be 18 pounds. Based on the 1995, 95% uh, 95 confidence interval in this, is this population mean of 18 pounds a reasonable value? So refer back to the confidence interval that they give you, 8.7 and 21.3. Well, if the average weight that they give you in this question, 8C, is 18 pounds, that will be within the confidence interval. So we just draw a little bit of number line, and 18 will be somewhere around here. And if they give you a value that is within this confidence interval, then we can safely assume that this value, 18 pounds, would be a reasonable value for the population mean. So for 8C, our answer would just be yes. All right.